Hello, it's Sandy. I'm back from vacation, but before I proceed with this video, I want you to pause and type in the comment what your guess is as to what this shape is. So before I get into the random sharing in this video, I wanted to mention something that's coming up and it's an event that is free that you are welcome to join in on. Come to Art Venture for our holiday party. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have it on Zoom. It's on Saturday the 17th and you can find out more information about it. You don't have to bring anything. If you don't want to, you can wear your PJs. And if you decide to come and play and try to win a prize, I will send you a bingo card that you can play along with our game on. All right, my vacation. I went to visit my family and when I got back, this was what ensued, this insanity. <laughs> I left the dogs at the kennel for the day when I got back so that they could get baths before they came home and I put up my tree while they were gone and this is what had happened when they got home because they were just nuts. Vienna was so excited to be home and I was so excited to get both of my puppies back. I always miss them so much when I go. But I had gone to Maryland to go see family. These are my two sisters and we just had a blast. We did so much. We practically had Christmas week while we were there. It felt like we were there forever. We did shopping, we did games, we did like movies, we went out for dinner, we cooked dinner in, we did everything. We decorated her house up, put her tree up. And there's my mom. I got to spend good quality time with mom, which was just fantastic. Haven't seen any of these folks since before COVID. So it was well overdue. And we just had a blast. I have not laughed that much with this family of mine in forever. And it was so good. And one of the other things we did was go to a Motown show. It was a Motown Christmas show. And some of these guys are, I guess, famous. They, um, some of them were backup singers and stuff for different groups and that sort of thing. So I didn't know any of them, but they were quite talented. It was a lot of fun. And getting to watch my mom dance was super phenomenal. I was just thrilled with how happy she was and how happy it made her to have all her daughters in one place at the same time. And yeah, what a Christmas it was. So we had a great time there. And then my sisters and I took off to go visit cousins in Pennsylvania and massive numbers of cousins. <laughs> this is only part of one side of the family. <laughs> And we just had all kinds of fun. We had, they had parties. We went out for dinner repeatedly. We sat around and just told stories and shot the breeze. We just had so much fun. It was such a good trip. And I got to go see Uncle George. If you heard me talk about Aunt Lorraine and losing her earlier this year, this is her husband and he has Alzheimer's. And I was just blessed that he knew who Debbie and I were. And that was, that was like a Christmas gift all by itself. All right, now to jump into the silly. This is a little meme that I saw online and I really liked number three. If someone comments on your weight, eat them. I thought that was really kind of funny, but <laughs> number two didn't come to pass, so that's all good. But this that I wanted to show you, and remember I told you at the beginning to guess what this shape was. I hope you did that in the doobly-doo down below. I found this thing at Goodwill. And it was just over in the kitchen housewares type section. I was looking for things that I could use my pyrography kit on. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know I kind of went a little bananas with pyrography. And all of my family got wood burned gifts of one kind and another. I had a whole video with those. I didn't have this one in it because I was looking for something specific for my niece. I wanted something specially for her. And she's really into, for one, flowers. She did all the flower arrangements for her sister's wedding that I went to earlier this year. And so I wanted to do something with a flower and I was looking for some object to do it on, to create it on. And I found this cheese board and it was a funky shape. I, I wasn't really positive what it was. It kind of looked like a state, but there were no markings on it that said 
what it was. It was just a marking by, you know, like couldn't even read anymore by the company that made it, that did the wood carving. The guy at Goodwill had absolutely no idea what it was. I asked him, is that a state? And he's like, oh no, there's no states with a flat side. I happen to know there are states with flat sides. And so I did go home and look it up. I wanted to see what the heck this thing was. And it's Kentucky. <laughs> so I made a Kentucky cheese board with a giant flower on it for my niece. And she has no connection to Kentucky. I was a little nervous about giving her the gift because I thought if she said anything sassy about it being Kentucky, then I was going to have to, I don't know, maybe eat her like the little meme said a while ago. So I didn't have to do that because she was more tickled with her gift than anyone else was with the things that I spent hours working on for them. I don't know if anybody else has that kind of thing go on that you give people things that you've made from your heart and they just kind of go, oh, that's nice. Well, she was super thrilled. This was like a grown up gift for her. And the fact that it came from Goodwill and it got it for like two bucks, she is a total Goodwill shopper. I got bonus auntie points for recycling something from Goodwill. That made her very, very happy. So that was good. All right, last in this video is the virtual craft fair. This is part two. Part one was on Black Friday weekend. And enough of you said you missed out on getting something. So I've got more for you. But I was inspired by watching Rudolph. I got to watch this the night that I arrived at my sister's house. We all watched it together as a family for the first time since we were little kids. And I made some more ornaments using the characters. And these frames were made for me by a guy in Texas because I wanted hexagons for some of my ornaments that I was making. And these are all Copic colored. And then I have them all kind of assembled. Then we also have more of these hoops. I bought way too many of these embroidery hoops. They're small. The ones on the website that are called itty bitty are these massive numbers of small round ones. And then the others are called tiny because they are small. All the sizes are listed in the description if you want to kind of have an idea how big they are. But they took as long as a larger card size picture would be to color, believe it or not, even though they're tiny. It was crazy. And then there's some that are larger. These are, I think, three and a half by five and a half, something like that. And I would burn the frames as well. So you get the frame and the picture inside of it, Copic colored. Lots of snow all over everything. And hopefully this gives you an idea of the size and scale of the small ornaments as well as these larger ones. So when you go to the virtual craft fair, you will see there's a coupon code there for 20% off anything. And if you buy some of my arts, you know, drawings and paintings, then you will also get a Christmas card while supplies last because I made more Christmas cards than I need. So links to everything are in the doobly-doo. I'll see you guys later on. Have a great weekend. Go make something every day. I'll see ya.